Hey there YouTube, Brandon here with Shredbox, and I got a question about why 440Hz is used as standard reference concert pitch. So let's talk about it a little bit. You might have heard the discussion about 432 versus 440 and wondered what the difference is, why you would use one over the other, and so I'm going to try and cover that a little bit. Let's start with 432Hz. Turns out, 432 is close mathematically to a more peaceful harmonic, and you can find that by looking at things called cymatics, which is moving frequencies through a media such as water or air. Here's an image of 432 versus 440, and I think you'll see that the shape on 432 is definitely more defined and would then be more harmonic. So this has been used in Eastern medicine a lot. I mean, if you go to, uh, well, anywhere doing <laughs> Eastern medicine, they're probably playing music at 432 because it's thought to have healing properties. And that's really interesting. So 432 is the auditory shiznit. Why are we using 440? Well, that's where the scandal comes in. I'm going to start with the most ridiculous one, and that is that the Nazis wanted more militant music, so they decided to make it more dissonant and use 440 hertz. I think that's a load of crap, and <laughs> who knows, though, because 440 hertz was officially accepted as the standard reference by ISO, which is the International Standards Organization, in 1939. That seems to line up with the Nazi theory. Well, here's the other two that we've got. One of them is that they started at 435, instrument manufacturers that is, started at 435, and they started this kind of arms race of sorts to constantly sell their musicians brighter instruments. And so that frequency gradually crept up from 435 to 440 hertz. At that point, vocalists started complaining because they couldn't keep up with the pitch changes and it was becoming more and more difficult to sing. So the instrument manufacturers gave in and settled on 440. All of that happened well before the 1939 date with the Nazis and it becoming an international standard. A second theory has to do with Christians. So when they were running around ransacking the world and killing everything in sight, they were also building churches. And within those churches, they were building organs. Now organs, if you're not familiar with them, use metal pipes to create tones that create the music. Metal pipes are very difficult to tune. You have to heat up the top of the pipe and reshape the opening to get the appropriate pitch. Now these also started somewhere around 432 to 435. I'm not entirely sure. There's different um, information out there. So if you know the answer, please put it down in the comments. But what happens is they're reworking this pipe. Eventually, you can't rework it anymore, so you have to chop a little bit off. When you do that, the pitch increases because your pipe is shorter. So same kind of thing with the arms race from the manufacturers. These pipes are getting shorter and shorter, and eventually it landed on 440. And uh, before that, you know, everybody's just tuning to the organ because that's what you have as your tuning reference. So there is a third theory on what happened with 440. Honestly, it's a pretty arbitrary number, so don't get too much in a tizzy about it. Just know that pretty much everybody, if they say A as your reference pitch, they're talking about 440 because that's the international standard. But experiment, try playing with different reference A pitches. Go from 432 if you can, not all tuners go that low, up to you know, 446 or something, and see what you notice about the difference. Oh, one more interesting fact about 440 and the Nazi theory. Uh, if you're at 440, then an F sharp is at 741 hertz. I don't know if you know this, but that's referred to as the devil's note. And when you play 440 and 741, it's supposed to sound really evil and dark and just dissonant and epic. <laughs> Well, that's all I got for you. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like, and girls, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Give me those thumbs. Let me know how I'm doing. And I will see you next time.